What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joan. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife do. Giddy and gay, all day she keeps my heart laughing. Never know where her brain is blown. To each his own, can deny that. Went down five tricks, Joan. Freak distribution. Uh, that puts you and Mabel exactly 12,000 points behind Nancy and me, Joan. Did you hear that, Mabel? We're 12,000 points behind. 35 cents. And we better start playing. Put the stuff right in here, Joe. Fred! Oh, Joan! Oh, honey. What, what are, are you, you doing, doing home? <laughs> you know the girls, don't you, dear? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, hello, girls. Uh, hello. Oh, uh, girls, I'd like you to meet my court clerk, Joe Perkins. Joe, say hello to the girls. Glad to know you. Hello. Hey, How do you do? Joan, can I see? Hmm? Uh, just go right ahead and deal, Mabel. Yeah. I'll be right back. Pardon me. Dear, I thought you were working late tonight. Well, I am, but when you called and said you were getting together with the girls, I thought you were going out somewhere, so I thought I'd bring the work home here and be comfortable. Well, I wish I had known. I now, look, dear, don't let me embarrass you, lover. I'll just go back to the office and finish the work there. Oh, you will not. Your work comes first. Uh, I know what, dear. Uh, you just work right here in the living room, be comfortable, and we girls can play in the kitchen. It's very thoughtful of you, Joni. Uh, girls, there's been a slight change. Uh, Brad Dad's going to work here in the living room, and we'll play in the kitchen. The kitchen? <laughs> well, I, I knew you wouldn't mind. Uh, just take your cards, girls. Yes. And I'll get the uh, nuts and the candy. Uh, will you take right. your chair, Jean, please? All right. There you go. I, uh, I'm terribly sorry, Jane. And well, I know it's not your fault. Your work comes first, lover. <laughs> oh. Well, all right, Joe, let's uh, get this stuff here and we'll get it all spread out. Put it over here. Now... You should have seen Helen at the dance. I never saw such a low-cut dress in all my life. Really? Either that or she had it on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Case of Worcester versus Judge. I think you should throw in the towel. <laughs> Girl, uh, Joan, Joan, can you hold it down a little? Oh, I'm sorry, Jim. I was talking about Helen when she was at the dance and she had on the dress. <laughs> Keep it down just a little. Oh. Really, Joan, I'm surprised at you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Jane. Well, at our club meetings, you're always the one that's standing up for women's rights. And here in your own home, well. One spade. Jane, what do you mean, uh, two clubs here in my own home? Well, Joan, if Brad has to work two spades, why can't he work in the kitchen? That's right, Joan, and we could be three clubs in the living room. <laughs> After all, there are four of us, three spades, and only two of them. Say, four clubs, maybe you're right. <laughs> the judge mater, in his opinion, said, uh, well? Uh, Brad, I hate to interrupt, but I just had an idea. Uh, that is, the. Uh, well, you see, uh, there's four of us, and only two of you, and uh, I thought you wouldn't mind working in the kitchen so we could play in the living room. But, Joni, we can't work in the kitchen, lover. We're all spread out here. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. Sorry, dear. 
it over and and they're all spread out in there everything is spread out spread out why can't they spread out in here i was thinking of nominating you for president of our club but if this is how independent you are i don't think i will but brad has to work why doesn't he work in his office your home is for social life i'd like to see my husband try to pull something like this playing bridge in the kitchen a fine thing I'll be right back. Versus Mary, it is through the class. I just wanted to say. Well. Well. For no trouble. I knew it. Now I'll never nominate you. Neither will I. Me neither. Me neither. I mean, girls, I've made up my mind. Come on. Meek and Bert, the owners of mines liable for damages by negligence of employees. Brad, Not I made up my mind. Oh, Joan, for heaven's sakes. Uh, we're going to play in the living room, dear, and you can work in the kitchen. <laughs> Hold it, Joe. I am working in the living room. We are playing in the living room. <laughs> we are working in here. We are playing in here. Come on, gang. Now, oh, that's about time. All right, Joe, bring it all Good for over. you, Joan. Oh, what a mess this is. Yeah. Here you go, Joe. Here you are. This is important. Take it easy. Take it easy. Now, where were we? Say, did you see Mary's mink stole? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. no. Where were oh, we, no. Joe? Where In the case of Worcester versus Mary's mink. Mary's mink? Worcester? Oh, Joe, come on. Now, if anyone can weasel a mink out of a husband, it's Mary. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now, in the case of Worcester versus Mary's mink stole, the weasel for the defense. Oh, no. Uh, it's up to you. Five spades. Six Oh, I pass. <laughs> Never so embarrassed in my whole life. Joe, think of me now. Well, I was looking for Willie there, I tell. Yes, and think of the work that I didn't finish. You may not realize, but that work earns the money that pays for this house. <laughs> Without my work, where would we be? Well, well, what about my friends? They may not nominate me for president of the club now. It's more important. My earning a living, and you're becoming president of the club. Well, of course a living is important, but I still have a social life. What good is a social life without any money? What good is money without a social life? And well, I still say that I am the breadwinner in this house. Oh. Now you're sorry that I don't work. I didn't say that either. <laughs> well, you want it and get up tomorrow morning and get a job, you know. We already did that. Oh. Now look, honey, I don't want you to go to work. Oh, now you think I can't hold a job. Well, no, maybe you can't, dear. After all, it's been nine years out of practice. That oh. settles it. I'm going to get a job tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> What's more, I can do more knee bends than you, too. awful, Mabel. I must have walked five miles. When housewives like us go out to get a job, there really isn't much we can find. You mean you couldn't get one? Oh, I got one, but what is it? A stock girl in Armand's dress salon. I start tomorrow. A stock girl? Oh, Joni, that kind of a job isn't going to prove anything to Brad. Don't I know it? So what am I going to... 
I know. I won't tell him I'm a stock girl. I'll tell him I'm a dress designer. <laughs> Pastor Williams. <laughs> when you get home, the evening's your own. And to go where you want, to do what you want to do. Where are my gloves, stupid? Yeah, where are her gloves, stupid? Oh, she's talking to me. Where are her gloves? <laughs> oh, hello, Johnny. Well, what do you want to do tonight to celebrate your first day as a dress designer? What do I want to do to celebrate? Yes. <laughs> Collapse. <laughs> someday, someday I'm going to get a husband and I'm going to walk out of here and never lift a finger again. I'll just stay at home and take care of my little house and have lunch with the girls and sleep as late as I want in the morning. Just like you could if you weren't out of your mind. Yeah, but my freedom, my independence, my aching back. <laughs> freedom, independence. I trade them both in for one nice, hard-working little husband. Oh, stop you... it. I can't stand it anymore. Johnny, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to call Brad and tell him I'm quitting my job. Atta girl. At last you're back in your right mind. Yeah. I was hoping that he'd be the first one to crack. I've made it pretty tough for him this past week, making him make his own meals and wash his own socks and make his own bed. I was hoping he'd beg me to quit so he'd have to admit that I'm as important as he is. Hello. Oh, hello, Mrs. Stevens. Judge Stevens? Oh, he's on his way over to Armand's. He's coming over here? What for? Well, to ask you to give up your job. <laughs> what? Elsie, I've won. I've won. Brad is on his way over here to ask me to give up my job. Well, why? Uh, what happened? Well, he figured if you'd gotten some menial, uninteresting work, you wouldn't have been able to last very long. But designing, well, that's different. Uh, you mean he gave in because I'm a designer? Huh, Joan? What? That's the only reason, Mrs. Stevens. Well, thank you, Miss Bromley. Goodbye. Hey, Joan, what was that about you being a designer? Well, I wanted to impress my husband by showing him I could hold down a very important job. And... And, and you never told him you're just a stock girl? Well, it never came up, and... Well, Judge Stevens, this is a pleasure. Oh, Mrs. Dimsdale, how nice to see you. Uh, Martha, this is Judge Stevens, a colleague of my husband. Uh, how do you do? How nice. What brings you here, Judge? Don't tell me you're doing your wife shopping. I don't know your wife, but I certainly admire her courage. <laughs> well, no, is it? Oh, Madame Dimsdale, Madame Carter. I'm so sorry I kept you waiting. Good afternoon, Armand. This is my very good friend, Judge Stevens. I am honored, monsieur. I am honored. Today, I am going to show you my very latest creations. Oh, how wonderful. Really, your very latest? Oh, Madame, so new, they are not yet even in the make. Oh. In fact, I will have to drape them on my models. Sit down. Excuse me, Armand, uh, but could you please tell me where... Uh, pardon me, monsieur, my model is here. I must show the lady. Yes. yes. Voilà. Voilà.
formal wear for the nightclub. I call it El Morocco. Oh, isn't it a dream? Oh, yes. No pins. Voila! for the well-dressed woman. I call it El Patio. He's just wonderful. Isn't he, Judge Stevens? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, he's, he's amazing. I... Yes, sir. I will show you some of the finished frocks. Later, I will design some more creations for you. Voila. Gentlemen, I am Mademoiselle Joanne, Armand's chief designer, and he has asked me to show you some of my latest creation.
It also comes in the very small sizes for the mommy and daughter outfit. Uh, wrap that as a gift, please. <laughs> and that concludes the fashions for this afternoon. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot my latest creation. <laughs> I call it El. <laughs> Breakfast in bed for the breadwinner. Joan Stevens, girl nothing, at your service. Now look, honey, you shouldn't feel you lost out after what happened at the dress shop yesterday. I had just as hard a time getting along without you as you did without me. Did you really? Yes, and from now on, you're working only for me. Oh, well, I may not want the job. Is there any security in it? I don't like these short jobs, you know. Well, uh, how about a contract, say, for the next uh, 40 years? I'll have to ask my lawyer. I'm your lawyer. Well, lawyer, shall I take it? Absolutely. OK, it's a deal. Oh, hold on there. I, I don't mind kissing my lawyer, but I hate having my boss get fresh with me. Well, as your boss, I want to know, uh, what are you going to do about it? See my lawyer. Uh, oh. <laughs> I married Joan. What a girl.